Hello, hello, my dear friends. Welcome to It's Not Electronic Channel. This is Uncle Misha, and today we are looking at this uh, mini disc tech MDS JE470. Reason is would like to check it before before powering up. I want to see make uh, see inside and make sure it's all not rusty, not busted, not leaking capacitors, yada yada yada, and electrically and it is and if it is electrically safe before I power it up. So it looks like this is a relatively simple mini disc deck. It doesn't have headphones out. It um, what does it have? It has a very simple controls in the front here. So on the back, okay, it has only line out, digital in, line in and out, digital in and PC link, which probably I need to check what is this. Potentially you can connect a PS2 keyboard to enter truck names. Um, it don't, doesn't have many screws, one over here and two on this side and each side. So let's take a look what's inside, make sure it's all safe and then we're gonna power it up and see if it's operational. Okay, and here is moment of truth because, uh, oops, what's going on? How to open you? Are more screws or something? Okay, I think we are going. Oops, I already unscrew it for your convenience, not to wait for me fiddling with screwdriver. And I'm trying to figure out how to lift. It's always a challenge sometimes. Need to know. Usually it just slides up forward or backwards, but not in this case. It feels it's like sort of stuck in there. Oh, here we are. Oh, it's a bit dirty here. Yikes. Yeah, some kind of oxidation. Yeah, it has a bunch like a dirt here or something, but inside seems to be okay. Yeah, inside seems to be okay. Yeah, yeah, a bit dirty, I must say. It's a, a lot of dirt accumulated right in here or here. I don't know why and where it came through, maybe from that top lid. So here we have a power supply side. Power supply is transformer base, but these big inductors here, it's probably a common mode choke, I don't know. Or unless we have two separate transformers for different voltages, potentially. It's, uh, yeah, it's really hard to tell if it's a, well, this is clearly common mode choke, tiny one. This one, I'm not sure. This is probably main transformer. Looks like it has many uh, voltages because look at how many wires are co going to the main board. Yeah, something to uh, to look, to check in the service manual. And another very notable feature here. <laughs> clearly, this is kind of chopped off version because look how many components are missing. Like here, complete IC is missing. Uh, well, judging by the number of pins, this is clearly a um, operational amplifier. We have whole, we have four, three, sorry, a a JRC forty five five eighty, yeah, op amps. Looks like capacitors are completely fine, so this is very nice to see. So here is the uh, here is the mechanism. And that's it, here's the power supply part. Yeah, and look at the, over here, how many things are missing. So it probably has a optical output, you know, something else, maybe some coaxial stuff. I don't even know what this is supposed to mean. So we can clearly grab a service manual and poke around to understand what's up here. So there is some kind of crystal for probably, I don't know, 45.15, 45 megahertz, interesting. Jamicon, mmm, yummy. Yeah, Jamicon, not what I would like to see here. J Jamicon, it's not promising, right? Mm-hmm. The Jamicon here, what else we have? Is the Jam Rubicon. Okay, well, this 
This guy is Rubicon. This is a little bit better. This is probably Rubicon as well, right? No, it's Jamicon. So it looks like a this Jamicon is like try to impersonate Rubicon because they are identical. So someone walked Jamicons here. Another Jamicon. This is Rubicon. This is Jamicon. Yeah, find the difference. They look at identical. Interesting. Well, not. So here on output stage, where are operational? It's Rubicons. At least these. Guys, no, not necessarily. Look, I did. We have uh, Rubicon, 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 Jamicon, 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 Jamicon. Yeah. Build to the price. What is this? Another Jamicon. Interesting. Oh, there are two Elnos here. Or Elnos something. Two Elnos, right? Here's the battery. Hope it's not leaked. Looks like it's okay. I'm gonna check voltage of that. Yeah, those beefy 16 volt, 10,000 microfarads, two of them. Yeah, they are not Rubicon, they both Jamicon. But there are some Rubicons in there in the mix as well, like those two are Rubicons. This is very eclectic mix of capacitors. So, uh, let's look look a little bit closer after we opened it. So I already started talking about some bits and pieces, I already covered the power supply. So now talk about what we have here. So looks like this, not looks like, this is clearly a main uh, um, uh, driver unit. So it's a uh, player and recorder. So this this guy would be, it has recording and also optical pickup, magnetic recording hat and optical pickup uh, for the MD discs. Then we have all this board and as you see this board is missing a whole bunch of things like for example here is some sort of um, operation amplifier highly likely hence because it has four pins and there is one two three already op amps right here so I assume this is another op amp. Potentially so this is op amp which goes to the in an old, older brother goes to the front and outputs some signal for the headphones i assume that's the one um yeah so this is a whole bunch of stuff is missing probably all this stuff is missing this is like electrolytic capacitor some diodes so this is potentially all what is necessary for that headphone amp there's a whole bunch of stuff missing right here uh like some of them some of the it, some of this is probably or possibly a um, uh, um, inputs optical inputs and op optical outputs uh, yeah I'm not sure what these guys are but look at this how many things are missing like over here there's some kind of connector here is missing completely so uh, yeah it's crazy uh, I'm also wondering if anything on the back because looks like this is potentially potentially this is double-sided load and back of this board I'm not sure if I should or should not take it one two this is three four five six anyways it's too many screws to take out out because it looks like right over here we have glued some kind of something so potentially we have double-sided load one side of this board is uh, through hole components and the other side of this board is ICs like uh, highly integrated ICs for example it feels like right here there is something big yeah so but I don't think I need to pull this all out right here okay let's take a look at the capacitor so I see some Rubicons right here I see some Elnas what the heck is this big one Rubicon looks like Rubicon probably looks like a Rubicon no this is Jamicon I'm not sure how good are those Jamicons they are probably better of the worst I think oh there is more Jamicons right here another Jamicon 10 microfarad 10 volt what is this? this is Rubicon so it looks like we have a mix here of different capacitors some of them are Rubicon some of them Jamicons and two Elnas here's the output stage as I understand for this line input and output and looks like we have mixture yeah this what is this we have mixture of Jamicon, 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 Rubicon, 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 Rubicon. So we have mixture right over here. So yeah, not sure how good are those Jamicons, but 
it is what it is. Interesting, look at this, we have a little battery here, probably to remember the time, t t time and date or something. You know what, that's pretty much it, not much, go well, aside from the front panel, here is the front panel right here, probably just mostly indication and stuff, yeah, looks like this dusty stuff came through here, this sucks, it has to be cleaned up for sure. So all this electronics, uh, yeah, it's, uh, looks like, look, I'm not sure if this is, yeah, there's some big bits and bobs missing right here. It, clearly there are some screw holes for something. Okay, uh, uh, looks like there is a button and, and some um, connector right here. Um, there is a... Yeah, it's unbelievable. There is, there is a, there is over here we uh, have populated only one, two, three buttons, but there is a four, five, six. So there is more buttons right here. So clearly this is chopped off version of some of a, of a different, uh, different and probably more expensive unit, right? You see, you have only three. Oops, sorry. You have only three here, but it's actually six, and here is much more stuff going on. So this front panel. So I'm just curious if we can add missing bits and pieces because uh, it'll be nice to have a um, headphone out, at least headphone out. For me, it's probably the the the, the biggest issue is this guy. Everything else I don't really care, but headphone out would be nice to have. So I can do some research to see if I can add uh, this stuff. It would be interesting like to upgrade this model. Um, unfortunately, I would have to probably drill something here, which is probably not the best version and uh, option. Plus, you have to add the potentiometer. Uh, for volume control and uh, necessary wiring so yeah I'm not sure better probably find a better version and sell this one if it works so it seems like I don't see any problems here so we are gonna try uh, to power it up uh, does it have any fuses it's hilarious but this, this guy doesn't have fuses it's actually a little bit annoying with older electronics that it doesn't even have fuses which is beyond my understanding. Yeah, can't wrap my mind why it's there is no fuses here, but yeah, whatever. So no fuses. Um, yeah. So I can uh, let me find my YouTube uh, safe uh, MD recording, and we will power it up. Also, I'm not gonna cover it at the moment. I'm gonna see how this mechanics works, if it works, if there is any issues with a mechanism. Okay, I have prepared my um, test mini disc and I also have a remote, so let's uh, power this guy up. It clicked. What? Oh, it has relay for some reason. Initialize. No disc, so yeah. It was blinking. You see that? I, I hope you see that. Oh, it's really hard to see. Okay, let me prop it somehow. Mm, yeah, it's really hard to read. Jeez, that's really fade out. Okay, maybe this way? <laughs> it says no disk here. Uh, let's see. Am I putting it correctly? Yes. Twenty nine tracks. So here's our remote. Let's see if that is working. Let's do track number two. Well, it does something. Mm hmm just like that open it's is it for real I don't know guys if you really see it's hard to show but this thing is wobbling I don't know why it's like it's is it oh potentially potentially it just it just follows the track right is it yeah maybe let me do track 3, for example. 
They didn't, didn't move. Let's do track eight. Yeah, okay, okay. So, wow. This little DC motor, or maybe it's a servo motor, actually, you see, what, 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 because the disc is wobbly itself, this thing is actually tracking the, the, the head. And that's why it's wobbling back and forth, side to side. So this disc, this disc probably not the best disc. I'm also wondering, why does it have to be that open? Look at this, it's just any dust, you know. If you leave this disc inside for a while, this disc is gonna accumulate some kind of dust. So this is something, maybe I can come up with some kind of cover here. It's, it's so easy to 3D print and just, you know, shove it on top of it. It's not gonna be interfering with anything. I'm go not gonna be interfering with this magnetic head or with this head. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's this recording head, I guess. So, everything is fine with this head. Okay, I'm not gonna be touching it, but it has some dust on it. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna use my lens uh, loop uh, or magnifier glass just to make sure it's all nice and clean, but it is playing something. Unfortunately, without the amp, I cannot demonstrate anything. What can I do? I don't really have tiny amp which I can just connect right here. I need this like beefy, beefy thingy. Um, yeah. So maybe what I do, I actually assemble everything together uh, because clearly it seems to be playing, right? It's doing something. I assemble everything together. I clean it up inside out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a shroud or cover at the moment, but at least I'm gonna clean it up. And then I hook it up to the big amp and actually do a nice demo video when actually showing how this thing is playing but so far it's doing a job look time oh my god it's barely seen it's this thing is fading it's quite fade <sighs> for uh, naked eye you can see it actually quite fine but probably this glass is reflecting you can see properly on the play play thingy but the rest it's really hard Okay, so looks like we have a more or less operational unit. I didn't test the audio, but audio I will test when I hook up this to the amp and I'm gonna make another video when I'm actually demonstrating how this thing playing. So I do believe there is not gonna be an issue. When I bought it, the person mentioned that there is no issue with this guy. So, okay, so I assume that's gonna be working just fine. Um, looks like it's when it's actually counting something and playing right here you can see it on the screen that's mean that actually it's operation probably output some uh, audio yeah so yeah let's wrap up actually there's nothing else I can do here let's check the disk and see wait wh what oh papa oh papa looks like our ejection is not working. Kill surprise! Okay, so looks like our video turning into a repair video, so my happiness was premature. Now I have to figure out how, first of all, how to eject existing discs out of here, and secondly, actually how to fix it. Hope it's not going to be too bad of a tear down of this a transport mechanism here, but it could be. First of all, I do not even understand where is the mechanism lifting motor here, so definitely need to consult a service manual before I proceed. But definitely we have issue with ejecting. It's not operational. Okay, okay. I'm gonna consult service manual and we will continue. Alright guys, so after consulting the service manual, I came to conclusion that potentially we have a belt issues. Also I decided to wear my protective gloves just to make sure I'm not gonna leave my greasy fingerprints everywhere. So what I would like to do first, I probably would have to... Oh no, what? Maybe not disconnect this thing first. I will... well... First, we're gonna take off the power. Well, shut it down. Okay. Okay, I did shut it down. Now I'm gonna unscrew those two four screws on each side. Maybe also I remove this. Do I? Yeah, I would have to somehow detach this thingy. You see, that's why I have to shut it down, because doing this thing will definitely... Mm, okay, this is disconnected. Then I'm gonna... Hmm, this one is warm. This is the heatsink of 
you know, probably voltage converter or regulator. Mm, those screws are... Wow, that's really... Okay, gonna unscrew off camera. Okay, so I took... I unscrew those four screws. Now I'm using my tool here just to fish them out. Alrighty. Okay, so I don't know what next. Okay, I'm not gonna touch this. Wrong thing to grab. Okay, this rubbery thing is... Ah, man! And we have board right underneath. Not cool! Okay guys, in order to analyze what the heck is going on, I decided to do, uh, and obviously you saw that I'm unscrewing this um, transport, also I prop it on this box, this box <laughs> is a Kia charger, it actually fits perfectly, so it's allowed me to connect this thing with the those ribbon cables, but in the same time prop it high abo above the uh, front that I can actually operate this thing, so my idea is to try to dislodge it, but looks what I'm what I understand, I cannot dislodge it without the operating mechanism. Uh, why I think so? Okay, I'll take the blue one. Why I think so? Because also decided to use the electrostatic mat just in case I gonna work on this unit and actually decided to use my gloves. Um, there are a bunch of pulleys and and uh, and belts and stuff like that which actually operate like a rail which actually moves the disc but it doesn't just move the disc it's also i think also uh, brings this thing up right like this uh, see uh, i can't really twist it too much because i'm afraid of the uh, damaging the cables but so this whole platform goes up and then it pushes the disc out the problem is looks like from what i uh, gather here Okay, I powered it up. Oh, by the way in case you're wondering I now, now understand why there is a second transformer one is for standby another for proper operation. That's my theory at least Okay, so I powered it up so if I hit eject it can do it Okay, it's not failing it just cannot do it and assume this is this is back uh, someone just inserted uh, disc again, so pull and that's it. Okay, so now it's pretty much in, in, in same condition. So when I do this, watch that. So it's like not enough force to push it, but in same time I try to work, play with this little teeny tiny belt, which is not much more visible. You see that? It's actually pretty snug. Maybe not. Uh, you know what? No, no, it's not. Yeah, I don't think you see that. You know what? I have a chair. I think we can try to take this, uh, replace this belt without taking everything apart. I think you can just try to s put it over. You see this, uh, here is two pulleys, right? One big, smaller and another bigger. So there is a little belt right there. I think I can try to put new tiny belt. I hope I have one. Oh. But because removing everything on the bottom here, oh my god. This is like, I do believe even, like for example, here is the uh, motor and it's soldered and screwed from another side. I would have to, yeah. It's a lot of work. So, let me think about belt. Okay, I just didn't realize I have access from this side. And looks like belt is pretty floppy. Yeah, 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 it could be belt. Yeah, it is pretty floppy, actually. Uh, my original idea was that if belt is actually making those sort of noises, the problem is elsewhere, that something is stuck. Because belt is like, try to do it, but it can't. Really, because something else is like not lubricated. But, but actually, we're poking around around belt, it's really floppy. Yeah, probably not that big of a belt, probably like, I don't know, what the diameter would going to be. Probably 25-30 mm centimeters, sorry, millimeters. So let me find a similar belt, I'll be back. Okay, so before yeah, I have my box with different belts, here we are, belts. 
and uh, but before I actually go and dive I'm probably gonna pull this little guy I have those picks you know that's really handy pull this guy off it's really easily it goes here we are oops oops come out come out please yeah still need oh it's even smaller than I thought it's like 20 millimeters diameter so it's tiny pretty tough. I hope I have something like that oh that's gonna be not funny if I don't <laughs> yeah, I guess, well it, it'll be easier to put it back on so it's not big deal looks like I don't have shit it's like a smaller one here is no no I um oh, wow I do not have believe you or not mm -mm, nothing that small No, that's too big. Hmm, not cool, not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, well, I would be. It's, it's gonna be practice for me to put this little tiny guy back on. Yeah, because I don't have anything small here. Yeah, well, at least. At least I definitely understand what the issue is. Little tiny belt. They're gonna measure the size of it, you know. Definitely is super small. Eh? I don't have anything as small as this. Ridiculous, but I do not. Hmm. Okay, that's stuff goes back on here. Okay, I just sh I just shoving all these belts back in there, in their place. Yeah, I don't think I have anything smaller than that. These are pretty small already. These are more belts here, but these are, it looks like they are larger. There's no tiny belt here, it's probably the smallest. Yeah, it's still too big. That sucks. Yeah, it's all too big. Well, c'est la So we're gonna get, um, order something. If we... Yeah, we don't have no. Oh no! Wait, we have another baggies of smaller belts, but I don't think there is anything half decent, half close to these guys. I don't think it's even. I opened this one. Looks like it's still nicely <laughs> coiled. Oh no! It's not gonna be. Not gonna be small enough. It's all too big. Again, those are chintzy belts. They are like, you see, cheap and the quality is, yeah. But, if you are, need something, that can help you in the pinch. Yeah, those are all too big. I didn't realize I would ever need a uh, kind of small belt like this, you know. It's, <laughs> it's a shame, but it's a shame that I... All my supplies I have no proper belt well anyways I will order them no I don't no that's it that's it all belts okay guys I think this video is gonna be paused because I don't have a replacement for this tiny belt in the meantime I'm probably gonna put it back in just in case uh, you know just in case uh, I would like to play with it. In the same time, I would probably practice how to insert this belt where it's supposed to be, and probably it's not gonna be that simple. Looks like, looks like it's not gonna be that simple. Let me try something like this. First of all, hook it up over the the further pulley, like that. Ah, maybe it's ah, uh, that's easy. Ah, that was easy. I <laughs> done it like in one stroke. All right, so that's that's easy. So now I know how to do it. I just need the belt. Uh, I think I said I'm gonna measure it. I forgot. Hey, let me do this again. Oh yeah, you see, I can now. I'm practice a practitioner of belt replacer. Let me measure it. Okay, I'm measuring here with my calipers and the uh, inner diameter is uh, 
kind of roughly shape it in a circle gonna be a, probably 19 18 millimeters and the thickness of the rubber it looks like a square profile like half a millimeter okay it's about one I think okay let's say one millimeter giving the 77 okay 0.77 Okay, 0.8 probably, and uh, roughly 19 this way. Yeah, 18. Okay, 18 this way. Okay. Right. So let's try again. One stroke. Installation of the. Oops. Of the belt. Like let's lasso this the further pulley, not catching anything that we don't have to. Ta -da! Easy peasy. I don't know. That's it. I think we have to wrap up with this video because nothing else I can do at the moment. Uh, I'm just gonna pack it up and wait for the moment I get on a belt and uh, I'll finish. So that's video. It's probably gonna be one video. I'm not gonna split it in two. So that's in the meantime I clean up all this jazz you know, make it so uh, sure it's all nice and clean. Then I continue when I'm gonna get the Lestani belt and then we will happily demo this little guy. Hooray, hooray, finally I got these. So this is two of these small ones, it's just uh, several it's variations of this guy because I didn't know exact size. So I purchased a little bit the same and a little bit even, I think, smaller. Okay, so this is it. And the another one would be for a different story, this guy. So thanks to Interable Needles for getting those belts here and today we're gonna probably gonna start with a smaller one so we have SBR 2.3 this guy and SBR or SBO 2 yeah 2.2 so I probably installed this one alrighty let's do this because it took quite a bit of time to get to this point so we're gonna go and we're gonna try to not touch this is my fingers just like this okay I'm gonna put it right this on the transformer and I'm gonna use this then call a um, to prop the drive just like this and okay oopsies yeah it's a bit fiddly hey okay and just shove it like that. So yeah, I try to just um, turn it, put it around the bigger one and wrap it around the small one. Yay! It was easy. Okay, let's see if that was the problem. Because if it's something else, haha, it's gonna be not funny. Okay, we have our friend powered right here and let's see. No disc. Okay, let's shove something in. Of course, it's gonna be doing stuff. And now try to put it out. Yay! <laughs> nice. Okay, that was easy, guys. That was easy. And it's super easy to access the uh, two pulleys, bigger bigger one right in here somewhere and a smaller one right in there under this uh, plate. You just you just put your little belt over big one and like this and just put it over small one and release. That's it. Easy peasy. So uh, for this scenario belt SB is it B? SBO two point let, let me open the where is the paper they sent me? Okay, it's um, okay. SBO 2.2 square belt, obicular 2.2 inch, cost three dollars. I'm not gonna show you this little piece of paper because it's home. Uh, it has my home address here. 
Yes, freaking awesome, just like this. So let me assemble it together and we try to listen some music when it is in the proper shape. Okay, look at this beauty. So we assembled everything nicely together and now let's just double check, power it up again and play something. Oops, it was on. Again, the same, same disc. Okay, that's the correct direction. Okay, now it says TOC reading. Okay, and because the, the, the what sucks about this particular guy, it doesn't have phone's output, it doesn't have digital. Oh, I need some cleaning here. Digital or SPD or optical outputs, it has only analog, which is kind of sucks. Otherwise, I would hook up my, my DAC and I would listen to something. So now I have to like wire up all this like audio um gear stuff like amp and wires and speakers and shit like that yeah no just too much work let's just try to play something okay well it numbers are going so it's an it's reading tracks so obviously it'd be nice to know if um music there is any sound of music or any sound coming out of this guy Unfortunately, I have a really tiny. Oh man, okay, let's do it. I wire up some amplifier. Uh, so, guys, so after some deliberation, I actually decided to hook it up, everything, and do a demonstration. So, right now, this MDLP deck is connected to my amplifier, and now let's try this. Hustle free YouTube music from my own mini disc. All right, obviously, it's gonna read it. And let's scroll to track number oh, five. Five is good. Yeah, it works. Yep. Looks like recording works just fine. Gonna reduce volume a little bit here on amp. Yep, the recording works fine, no problem. Actually, level is really nice. No scratchy, scratchy things or anything like that. So this is definitely a fix. But before I call it a fix, let's stop the music and eject. And eject is working very nice guys so thank you guys for watching this is definitely gonna be it for now and see ya next time in another video when i definitely gonna fix something useful or interesting ciao